Students marched out of Oregon City High School in protest of what they called a disturbing video. This walkout days after it aired during a virtual assembly in early February. No justice, no peace. Parents equally distressed by the clip took complaints to the school board. The video shows a blurred out student confessing his assaults on his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend. That ex-girlfriend, referred to as 18-year-old Jane Doe in these court documents, is now suing the school district. The senior demanding more than $832,000 for intentional infliction of emotional distress and invasion of privacy. The lawsuit alleges OCHS held a school-wide assembly February 2nd, which featured a male student, John Doe, videoed in silhouette, but without masking or altering his voice, confessing abuse and assault against his former girlfriend. The suit goes on to read, students immediately recognized the person in the video, and by extension, recognized the plaintiff. Jane Doe alleges the district acted negligently and with reckless disregard by broadcasting the video to more than 2,000 students and staff without her input or consent. The lawsuit also alleges that students sponsoring the assembly warned school administrators not to include it, but school staff overrode those objections. We didn't meet the lawsuit that. comes after um, the district we'll already received a formal complaint. Last month, the interim superintendent confirmed an investigation into the assembly and video was underway. They failed our kids. Backlash against the district continues as several parents last week voiced uh, demands at the latest school board meeting for more action and accountability. The lack of transparency has made it seem that nothing is being done and no one is being held accountable for their lack of judgment. You talk about protecting people's identity, but that wasn't even for a thought for the kids that were aired in these videos. KGW reached out to the district seeking a response to the allegations in the lawsuit, but has not yet received a response. Worth noting, the principal of Oregon City High School resigned earlier this month. Carrie Wilhelm will leave OHCS at the end of the year, calling the past three years some of the most challenging and rewarding of her career in a note to parents. No word on whether her resignation is connected to the assembly or the lawsuit, but we'll keep you updated as we learn more.